Avant-Garde Teacher here. I hope you'll enjoy watching this video and find something you can use. I may not be a pro, but I always find creative ways to work with what I have. And if you like this video, click like and subscribe. Then join us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, and get more of Avant-Garde Teacher. Thanks for watching. This video is rated E for everyone. Okay, let's get started. The first thing we're going to do is open up a blank Google Slides presentation. So you can go to the array, um, go to Google Slides, and select a blank Google Slides. And then we're going to set up the page. So go to File, go to Page Setup, uh, click the drop down box, click Custom, and then you're going to put 8.5 by 11 because we want it to look like a regular notebook then we'll remove the text boxes by deleting them and now we're going to title our presentation and here's the helpful hint make sure that your students when they title it put what subject it is so i'm titling mine interactive bitmoji uh, notebook but just make sure that they when they title it they put what um, subject it is all right the background we're going to set the background as a color and then we're going to click on the image upload an image from the web and we're going to type in composition notebook it's very important because if you just type in notebook sometimes it doesn't give you the right picture After we find our picture, and I'm just gonna click on that first one, the black one, uh, you'll wanna resize it and you'll wanna leave the right hand edge a little bit showing this color so that we can put in tabs. Now your tabs are gonna come from your shape, so you'll click on shapes and you'll select a tab. You can do round tabs, you can do whatever shape tabs you want. And I'm gonna speed up here and you're just gonna label all your tabs, you're gonna size them, you're gonna use the arrange feature to layer them on top of each other, but behind the notebook so it actually looks like it's tabbed. Now this process is really self-explanatory. I'm just labeling all the tabs. Now you'll wanna keep watching because, and you don't wanna miss it, my final template, I'm going to send a link in the video. I'm not gonna put it down in the comments. It's gonna be in the video where you can get a free interactive student notebook template, the one that I'm working on now. You can get it for free. Okay, now just keep in mind as you put your tabs, you need to click the arrange and make sure you're sending them only one step back so that they actually look like they're tabs. So now I'm gonna decorate the cover. I'm gonna put a bitmoji in the middle that says quality content. And then at the top, I put a text box I put a color and then I type in where they're gonna put their name. And at the bottom, I put a text box and I type in where they're gonna put their subject name. Okay, the first page is going to be our title page and dedication page. And the reason behind this is for, to support English language art so that they understand what a title page is, they know what a dedication page or a dedication looks like. And so they will have to um, put in their own hobbies or whatever for their title page. They decorate their title page. And then they also dedicate it to someone. So they need to be thinking about who they're gonna dedicate it. 
and it's up to you if you want to use this. The next page that I put in is important. I put the table of contents in and I insert a table for that and it'll be a three column table. The first column is for the date, the next column is for the title of the page, and the last column is for the page number. And again, it's to show them what a table of contents is for. So you can delete it if you don't want it, or you can keep it in. It will hyperlink it to all the different pages, and it really makes it easy to get and maneuver around in the interactive notebook. Okay, so I'm gonna speed up. What I'm doing now is I choose two shapes because I teach math that students really struggle with. And so I chose a parallelogram and a trapezoid. And I'm gonna make the trapezoid the link on every single page that'll bring you back to the cover. And I'm gonna make the parallelogram the link that brings you back to the table of contents. So on every page, if they need to, you know, click, to get back to the front, they can. If they need to click to get back to the table of contents to find a page to get to, they can. So those are what I'm, I'm making these shapes into. Other than that, um, everything is pretty much self-explanatory. You're gonna hyperlink each page and you're gonna hyperlink the tabs to um, the first page of whatever unit it describes. So I'm gonna speed up again. Okay, so after I get these made, I'm going to slow down here because I just wanna make sure that you understand how to hyperlink these inside the Google Slide presentation. So we're gonna actually hyperlink the trapezoid first. So I'll click on the trapezoid. And then I'm going to click on the icon that's the hyperlink it looks like a little paper clip to me and then I'm gonna click on slides in the presentation and I click on what slide I want to link it to and click apply and then it's hyperlinked so basically the interactive notebook is just a series of hyperlinks that take you to different things inside the presentation itself okay so I'm gonna speed back up Okay, it's time to get your free link. And you're gonna get a free link to this template, just the place value part that I finished. All right, here you go. <laughs> Sharing is caring, and I like to share. Would you like to get a free, customizable, interactive notebook template? <laughs> Write this link down. And don't forget to click like and subscribe. And please share with your friends our link in our videos. And then join us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, and get more of your avant-garde teacher. <laughs>okay, so that free link is going to take you to this finished product or it's a template, but I finished the first portion of place value for third grade. So it has in there like the escape type of uh, Google form as an activity. It has some drag and drop interactive slides, uh, lots of fun and cool stuff. So enjoy. And as always, please remember to like, subscribe, join us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, and get more avant-garde teacher. Thank you so much for watching.